Hey everyone, Jason here from RGG, bringing you another installment of our Evolve Class Guide series. Today we're taking a look at Maggie, the first hunter of the Trapper class. The Trapper's role within the game is multifaceted. They must track down the beast, lock it down in a combat arena, and hinder its movement throughout the fight. Maggie achieves this alongside her tracking companion Daisy through the use of a mobile arena and harpoon traps. She also comes equipped with a rapid fire machine pistol to help dish out some damage. So armed with that, let's break down each one and see how they work. First up, we've got Daisy. This is Maggie's pet trap jaw who's capable of tracking down the monster by scent without relying on any visible tracks. Keeping up with Daisy is essential to catching up with the monster, so don't be afraid to double tap the jump key to boost forward. Doing so will make it easier to reach the monster before it evolves into stage two. If you see Daisy sniffing at the ground, this means that the monster has started sneaking. While sneaking, the monster will make less noise and does not leave behind any tracks. If she starts running again, that means the monster is back on the move. Upon catching up with the monster, the icon above Daisy's head will turn red. This means that the monster is in close proximity and within Daisy's direct line of sight. Although, Daisy is not your only means of tracking the monster. Keep an eye out for startled birds which will immediately alert you to the monster's location as well as trails of dead animals that the monster may have left behind. You will also be able to hear the monster's footsteps when you close in, which will give you a solid clue on its direction. Once you've tracked down the monster and are in combat, Daisy has one more job to perform. She will not assist in fighting the monster directly, but she will revive you and any other hunters who have been incapacitated. After tracking down the monster, the next objective will be to confine it within the mobile arena. This prevents its escape and forces it to fight. If you can catch it before it evolves, then that will make killing it that much easier. Though if you miss and the monster escapes, you'll be forced to bring down the arena to continue the pursuit, thus triggering the ability's long cooldown. You'll also need to be cautious when the monster is inside the arena. If it targets you and manages to incapacitate you, the arena will fall thus giving it the opportunity to escape and potentially go on to evolve. This also means that some stage 1 monsters will treat you as a high priority target, equating your death with their survival. So do your best to keep your distance. As for performing the capture itself, have your mobile arena prepped and ready for a moment's notice. Then, if possible, take cover and avoid the monster until your teammates arrive to assist. You should also be ready to break away from Daisy in order to cut the monster off and trap it. If you know where it is and the direction it's headed, you may be able to get ahead of it. With the monster engaged within the confines of the mobile arena, it's time to start hindering its movement. This can be done with the Harpoon Trap Launcher. Deploying several around the battlefield can trip up the monster and forces it to break the line before it can move freely again. They can also be quite the lifesaver, preventing the monster from reaching you or your allies for a brief moment. The placement of these traps is best done off to the side and out of sight. Traps are easily broken when they are placed out in the open or too close to a rampaging monster. And don't worry if the monster doesn't trigger them instantly. Monsters often move substantially around the arena's limited space. Another strategy is to place various harpoons along the way while tracking. The effectiveness can be hit or miss since the maps are fairly large, but since you can always place more when needed, it's worth a shot. It can really catch the monster off guard and potentially give you an extra second to lock it down. Harpoons can also be highly effective against flying monsters, though the placement strategies can differ. While placing them behind rocks and around corners is the most effective way to trip up the Goliath, you will want to place your traps higher up and with a greater radius of sight when facing flyers. Placing them along cliffs they are likely to cross and on top of rocky outcroppings out in the open will help tie down these monsters. If you manage to keep tethering them to the ground repeatedly, 
then it can bring them down significantly faster. Finally, we have the Machine Pistol. It's a rapid fire weapon with a high damage potential, though it can be a little unwieldy with a high degree of spray. This could be managed if fired in short controlled bursts or if the monster is charged into point blank range. Though it reaches its maximum potential by far when used alongside of a medic who is wielding a sniper rifle. Aim for the targeted weak points they create to deal significantly increased damage and bring down that monster once and for all. When put into practice, a strong understanding of Maggie's mechanics will make you an effective member of the hunting party. Tracking down and trapping the monster quick and early will help your team deliver a crippling blow even if it survives to escape, while switching between your harpoon and machine pistol will keep the monster hindered and hurting for as long as you have it in your sights. In addition, keeping yourself airborne and mobile also helps to quickly traverse the battlefield and set up a more effective array of harpoons, but you should keep a close eye on your jetpack fuel and avoid running dry within close proximity of the monster. It's also well worth the time investment to learn what each monster is capable of and how to identify and avoid their attacks, even if you don't plan on playing much of a specific monster. They all have their own variety of unique abilities that strengthen with each evolutionary stage, and there are many times when a well-placed jetpack boost can get you out of harm's way if you know what you're looking for. And of course, don't forget to be a team player. All hunters have the ability to revive. So when you take all of that with a strong team whose members all know how to effectively play their roles and work together, there will be no monster too challenging. Now, having got the hang of all that, what's next? Well, once you've got Maggie down, it should be no time at all to unlock Griffin, the second Trapper-class hunter. All you need to do is follow Daisy for 2,600 meters, land 40 successful harpoon traps, and rack up 8,000 machine pistol damage against monsters. From there, it's on to the next hunter, and on to the next hunt. That's all for now, but be sure to check out our other Evolved guides, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jason from RGG, and thanks for watching.